Obsession, written by Jason White. Exterior house, day. Houses in a middle-class suburban area line the street. The lawns are neat, uniform, and well-kept. We focus predominantly on the main house, but the house next to it has a moving truck parked in front of it, and sounds of people moving can be heard. Interior, Crystal's living room, day. Crystal, a homely, mousy-looking woman in her 40s, sits in her simple-looking recliner reading a copy of Cormac McCarthy's Child of God novel. She is dressed in a baggy, long sleeve dress and has her hair pulled back in a ponytail. As Crystal reads in her chair, she occasionally takes notes in a moleskin at her side table and jots down quick ideas. Satisfied with what she just wrote, she takes a bite of a plain bagel with plain cream cheese on it. The sounds of the people moving furniture and boxes can be heard while Crystal reads and writes. Her face takes on a look of deeper concentration as she tries to cock her head away from the noise, as if that would help. After her second bite, Crystal can't help but glance at the window to see what's going on. POV, Crystal. We see Bethany and Michael, a good-looking couple in their mid-30s, but still look like they're in their mid-20s, are each carrying a box full of their possessions. Bethany notices Crystal watching through the window and smiles and waves to her. Interior, Crystal's living room, day. Crystal quickly turns her attention away from the window as if she is ashamed. She tries to focus on the book again, but her eyes keep darting to the window. A doorbell rings and Crystal is startled. Crystal sits in silence for a moment, waiting to see if the doorbell really rang or if it was a figment of her imagination. The doorbell really rings again for the second time. She jots down a quick thought and then gets up from her chair with her book in hand and makes her way to the door. Crystal cracks the door slightly so that not all of her face is revealed as she looks out the front door. Bethany smiles wide at Crystal and waves. Bethany is bubbly and her personality is overflowing. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Bethany. Hi. I saw your home and I was wondering if you have a couple drinking glasses you could let us borrow? Our glasses are still all packed up and we're getting pretty dry. Crystal looks at Bethany as if she is unsure. How about a couple of bottles of water? Bethany smiles wide. That would be perfect! Crystal closes the door, only to leave it slightly cracked, and leaves without a word. She looks at the book in her hand and marks her place in the book before she makes her way to the refrigerator and grabs out two bottles of water. She returns to the door and opens it to reveal Bethany fanning herself off by using her shirt. Bethany smiles wide. Thank you so much. I'm sorry if I put you out. Uh, sorry, I didn't catch your name. It's Crystal. Thanks, Crystal. You're a lifesaver. I'll have to stop by with my husband when we have more time. Don't worry about it. Crystal stands awkwardly, waiting for this exchange to end while she watches Bethany. Bethany takes the cue after a while and holds up the bottles of water. Well, I better get back. Thank you so much for the water. No problem. Well, see ya. Bethany skips off the porch towards Michael, who is carrying another box. Crystal shuts the door and returns to her chair and opens up her book. She reads it for a second before turning her attention back to the window. POV, Crystal. Bethany and Michael are on each side of a mattress and are carrying it into their home. Crystal continues to watch as the camera crossfades to Interior, Crystal's bedroom, night. Crystal is dressed for bed in a full-length flannel gown and is brushing her teeth. As she finishes brushing her teeth, she grabs a new book off of her nightstand and puts her toothbrush away. She lies down in bed and hears the clattering of dishes nearby and looks out her window. From her window, Crystal can see the kitchen and bedroom windows of Bethany and Michael's house. She tries to read her book, but her attention keeps coming back to Bethany's house. Crystal can see Michael washing dishes through the kitchen window. Bethany's arms wrap around Michael from behind, and he smiles and stops washing dishes. Crystal marks the place in her book and puts it down as she watches from her window. Michael and Bethany make out passionately, and their hands explore each other's bodies freely. Bethany pushes Michael off suddenly and pushes him against the counter. Crystal is surprised by this and lets out a quiet sound of shock. Bethany, now with her hands on Michael's shoulders, slowly kneels down in front of him and moves her hands seductively as she goes along. Bethany becomes obstructed by Michael's body. Michael rests his hands on the counter behind him as he arches his neck and then looks down lustily. Crystal's face flushes as she realizes what is happening. She stands up and goes to the door to leave the room and stops. She thinks for a moment and then turns off the light in her room. 
she slowly creeps up to the side of her bed nearest the window and slowly sits down. Close up, Crystal's face. Crystal watches and her face is a combination of wonder, embarrassment, and desire. Suddenly, Michael lets out an audible groan and the frame goes black except Crystal's eyes, which peer in the darkness without blinking. <laughs> 